Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Sunday, March 12th. Investigators are working to determine what caused this house fire in Wrightstown, Burlington County, that left three people injured. Crews responded to the scene there along West Main Street around 1:30 this morning. It took firefighters just about two hours to put out those flames. We're told the three victims were rushed to local hospitals. No word yet on the extent of their injuries. Police union officials have identified the Deptford Township police officer who was wounded in a shooting that left the suspect dead on Friday. That officer's name is Bobby Schisler, a four year veteran of the department. The New Jersey State Policeman's Benevolent Association says Schisler suffered critical life threatening injuries after he was shot. That officer is now recovering from surgery. Investigators have not yet identified the gunman or said what initially led to the shooting. And the annual Philadelphia St. Patrick's Day Parade kicks off today at 11.15 this morning. It all starts at 16th Street and JFK and ends at 5th and Market. Irish dancers will be among the more than 200 groups participating. This year's theme is St. Patrick, Let There Be Peace. You can watch the parade live from noon until 3 on the CW Philly. Now let's check the next weather forecast with meteorologist Kate Bilo. Hi, Kate. Hey there, Jan. Well, we've got some good news for parade goers today. It's going to be a nice March day, wedged in between a couple of not so nice days. Another storm to track tomorrow. Today's high though, 59, 49 degrees. I should say 51 is our average. We're close, but just a couple of degrees below. Seasonably chilly, with clouds increasing as the day goes on. And here's the next storm we're tracking. Notice how this precipitation is all diving to the south. There may be a stray shower late tonight in Delaware, but other. Otherwise, this is staying south for today. Then it starts to work its way up the coast, and that's when we're going to have to worry about it. So tomorrow during the day, scattered rain showers around the city and all southeastern Pennsylvania suburbs, except for the Poconos, where there will be light snow and snow showers throughout the day. It's Monday night that rain may change to a period of snow. Some light accumulations possible near the city, but heavy snow in the Poconos. And as we head into Tuesday, that's when I think we'll have to be concerned about very windy conditions with gusts over 40 miles an hour region wide, scattered wind driven snow squalls that could lead to low visibility on the roads and possibly some more light accumulations. This will be a major late season snow for the Poconos, where we do have a winter storm watch in place. Not expecting significant accumulations in Philadelphia, but windy with snow showers and squalls likely after the rain could change to a brief period of snow Monday night into Tuesday. Still blustery on Wednesday, and then we start to dry out and warm up. We're back to the 50s and even 60s by the end of the work week. Jan, back over to you. Looking good. All right, Kate, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBS Philly. I'm Jane Carabao. Have a great day.